First step, you have to go on openstreetmap.org and you don't have to be logged in or you don't need to have an account. You just can type in your city or village or whatever, um, your designated place and area, um, or you can manually zoom in and zoom out using your mouse wheel. And if you have found your desired location, you click on sharing which is here on the side menu on the right side and then you switch to pdf as the format and this one here is the scale and it usually has some weird scale like in this case it's one to 1850 and you can just type in 2000 and uh, check in this box here which says um, you can see which kind of um, yeah, rectangle will be exported as in PDF. And um, so now you see what will be exported and you see it's in one to 2000. So um, that's everything you want. You can change it by clicking and dragging on the edges of the rectangle or you can change the scale here. And everything you need to do right now is to click on download. And um, that's pretty much the first step. Open Archicut and make sure you're into one of the stories. Doesn't matter which one, we're on the ground floor right now. Open the folder where the downloaded PDF is. It's basically called just map. That's what OpenStreetMap does. Just drag and drop it into your story. And now this is an image file and we have to translate this into fills and polylines and text. And we can do this with this very, very mighty function in Archicut, right click it and go on explode into current view. Make sure this box is unchecked. It is checked um, in the default settings. So if you check it, you will keep the image on top of all the lines and all the stuff. We don't need this, so just uncheck it. Akikat takes a couple of seconds and now it looks like this. Um, that's a normal case yeah don't worry about this it has sometimes two or three black fills on top or sometimes green ones or beige ones just click on them and delete them and you're fine and everything looks pretty right so now make sure what we need and then just select it and pull it away from the stuff here to the right side or wherever you want and then we can work with it. So in this case we want to draw a site plan which looks really really minimalistic. So all we need to have are the outlines of all the buildings. And if you zoom in a little bit you see there are two types of outlines. The light gray ones with the pen 162 and the darker ones with the pen 42. So the tool we need for this is this one here. Find and select, control and F in the international version. And yeah, it automatically has um, a second criteria. If it doesn't have a second criteria, just click here on add, type in pen because that's the criteria we're looking for. And what we're looking for are polylines. So this is pretty much correct. If there isn't the polyline and if there isn't the pen 162, just click here on copy settings and it will automatically copy the settings from the polyline you have selected. But I said we also need the 42. So just click on add again, click on pen again, and then we can say add polylines with the, or select polylines with the pen 162 or and we can change it to end doesn't make sense in this case we need or 42 so we know it's 42 so we can click on 42 and then just press on select elements now that we have all the elements selected we can drag them apart from the rest of the image um, using control and d for dragging in the international version or we'll just right click and click on move and drag and we can delete all the rest or in the case 
if you need the rails because in this case it's quite important that we have the rails here because our building is here on top of the older existing one then we want to have the rails we can also select them by using this one the copy settings button that's too much but um, yeah let me show you the trick control and D we tear this to the right side holding switch down uh, shift down so it's on the same place and now I press control and D again and now I keep in mind the distance in this case let's say 36,000 okay ah, and it's all white so to see the white lines better I select them all and say it's it's red right now okay and I just choose the rails manually in this case it's manually um, I could have been smarter using one criteria the line type here because that these are the only dash lines in here but um, yeah it's not that much control and D again drag it down 36 thousand okay and now we can select and delete all the other stuff what I did um, right now in the meantime I selected a polyline which was on this area and I deleted it because my new building is on the exact same site here and I copied the outline of the building from my ongoing Archicad project from a real project on the real side here so this is not fictional and um, yes it right now has a different color this could become in handy because we want to highlight this one here but first of all we want to give all the other polylines a new color and um, yeah so all polylines should be in the color one so we can select them all with one at once and it didn't work why it didn't it work because this one here already has the color one so we have to deselect it and now click on one and all the other polylines should have the same color and yes it works so that's pretty much um, what we wanted um, we want to have smaller lines so the thickness um, is the thing we have to change and to do this you have to go into the pen settings so we can click here or we can select pens and comments from the menu or from the attribute uh, toolbar and yeah it's the easiest thing to click on pens and colors down here and you see in this case the pen weight of the first pen is on 0.13 millimeters and we want to have this really 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 thin so we just say the thickness of our pen one is on 0 0.02 which is really really thin it's the thickness that laser cutters need and so this project is just made for the side plan so it doesn't matter usually we have to create a new pen maybe down here or we have to switch uh, some existing black pen to the 0 0.02 but in this case it's okay and we should check in the real line weight which is under view on screen view options and then here true line weight and we will see that it is really 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 thin the only thing we want to switch is our building here and maybe also the rails because they're quite important and right now I will use another criteria which is the line type and we are looking for all the dashed lines here so this is way quicker than the selecting it manually and this is not the pen one it's the pen 
if we zoom in we see it's a little bit thicker than this one but what we forgot is we're in the scale one to two thousand which looks like this and there the 0 0.35 is way too big so we try the 2.5 or the 0 0.25 this is also too thick and we have to go into the pens and colors menu right now I just check that um, yeah we can stay in one to two in one to 100 because the plan we imported was in one to two thousand so this should be all right one step back in the 21 pan and in this case it's too thin so we go into pens and colors and make it a little bit thicker maybe one millimeter and it will look like this that's okay and we want to give our outline of our building the same thickness but maybe in a different color so we just change this one here and give it uh, maybe the blue color here annotations go back into pens and colors and say it's one millimeter click on ok and this looks way better thing we need to do before we export the PDF is creating a north arrow and maybe a little text that says it's a site plan in M2 1 to 2000 1 to 2000 and um, yeah we can draw the north arrow by hand maybe using just the arc and circle tool we use the same pen then we have uh, in the outlines here it's the really small one just draw one circle clicking on the line tool and we can cut this one here in half using split because the north is on top and um, OpenStreetMap already northed our plan so we can just use this one here which will be a little bit thicker and then we just drag and drop it to the upper left corner no the lower left corner and you can see that all these buildings are inside and that's not looking really really nice so we can use the control button to cut off all the lines that are going inside our north arrow and we just select the rest of the polylines here and what i'm gonna do is clicking on arc and circle again and drawing a second arc with a little bit of distance here and i will delete all the polylines inside here too so we have a little bit of visible distance and then deleting the second arc and it will look like this then we add some text maybe with some nice font type Yeah, I'm usually preferring Century Gothic here using the same blue color than our outlines have it's the pen number six and we say it's a site plan in M1 to 2000 and it doesn't need to be bold can be on the left side maybe it could be a little bit bigger like five millimeters something and also drag it down to the lower left corner and we're fine that's it to do save this as a pdf
make sure you choose PDF as a file type, which is here. Give it a name, Zeppelin 1, um, creative in this case. Open file after save, okay. And make sure you go into page option, options and document settings because um, you need to change the size of the page of the PDF. In this case, I would just say A3. Um, no margin at all and check the size or check if the size of the site plan fits on an A3 and it doesn't fit on document options because you see I need to have uh, 1 to 108 mm, that's not good but we need to have the scale we cannot scale it down so we just switch to an A2 which is what says bigger and this should fit pretty perfect OK and click on save and it should automatically open and then it looks like this which is a pretty nice looking very very minimalistic side plan and we just needed a couple of minutes to do the side plan and yeah maybe you will recreate this and have some fun using the OpenStreetMap um, tool and also the tools in Archicad to create something like this. And as always, have a great day, stay creative, leave a comment down below if you like this and a thumbs up and maybe a subscription if you haven't done this already and yeah, goodbye until the next video.